everyone uh, this is our little video um, leaving Aylesbury and moving on towards Milton Keynes yeah just continue cruising um, up the Grand Union Canal no real plan of where we're well we know where we're going but yeah. as, as when no, we no, get there yeah that's it no no plans of getting somewhere yeah, yeah. so Yeah, so as as we were cruising, um, uh, I think it was late in Buzzard. Um, yeah. We we come across some dedicated moorings specifically for shoppers. Say they were dedicated moorings, but but behind the fence was a Tesco's and a Lidl's, which is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so for us more, boaters, more, yeah, more up straight out. Don't we don't even need to use our fold up sholly, mm. sholly. <laughs> Trolley, yeah. yeah, and he hasn't even had a drink no, yet. I haven't had a drink yet. Yeah, don't, don't need to use our trolley. We can use the Tesco's or little trolley. Take it straight to the boat. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, take it back brilliant. to the trolley park rather than yeah. throw it in the canal, which the youths tend to do. Well, we do because yeah. we get our pound yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they are CRT moorings. Yeah. Um, although the uh, local youths have renamed the moorings. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was handy. We just moored up under the bridge, past the bridge. Leighton Buzzard, and through here behind me, Tesco's and Aldi's. Well, that's done our little stop over at the Canal and River Trust, or uh, Ball Bag, as they're commonly known as in Leighton Buzzard, uh, their shopping moorings. Yeah, so uh, we left Leighton Buzzard, and um, a little bit further down, we went into Wyvern Shipping Territory. Yeah, yeah, and... Uh, the uh, English Channel is supposed to be one of the busiest shipping areas, but I don't know whether any of you guys have actually been on the, the Grand Union. You get to where uh, Wyvern shipping um, boats are. It's a hire centre, and their boats are three um, abreast, yeah. and then they were four or five deep. So there, there was over 20 boats moored up there, and... Uh, you can get a narrow boat through. I, I don't know how you only, only just. just. Well, where we actually passed the three boats, um, we couldn't get right over to the Armco. Because we the was, boat, yeah, we was, the boat went yeah, over. Yeah, it was sh shallow. So um, we, sit, we sit about two foot four, two foot six. So maybe with a, um, a boat which uh, doesn't draw so much, wouldn't have so much of a problem. But again, with uh, some of the wide beams, um, some of our wide beam friends, and you know who you are, um, you know, struggle would, would struggle. Yeah. Yeah. What well, they wouldn't get through. No, no. So I, no. I don't know what the protocol is. is. Obviously, they're they're allowed to do it, but if yeah. you're if you can get four and a half boats across the width of that canal, and they're taking up three boats width, widths, yeah. you know, I, I, I don't know. Maybe if you know the the answer to that, let us know in the comments. It's all looking a bit congested up here. Looks like we've got a higher boat place, three abreast, very narrow. And it looks like this is the time of day when people pick up their higher boats. Yeah, so I'm not sure what the, the width of the canal these higher boats are allowed to take up, but they're three abreast. Uh, we can get a narrow boat through here, but I think some of our fellow wide beam owners would struggle and we're scraping the bottom yeah so if you're deep drafted or wide you're going to struggle getting through here and that's the Wyvern shipping company 
Well, that got past all them, and uh, I don't know which way they'll be going this weekend, but no doubt many of them will be out. The majority of them will be brilliant. You'll just get the one or two. Yeah, the one thing that we did actually notice, because we, we went down a lock with a, um, a holiday boater. Yeah, one of the boys and was the training that they give they really are very very good with the training yeah yeah you know. there's a uh, family family on the boat and obviously they're talking them through how to um descend in the lock and well second to none yeah that was yeah. brilliant yeah. it was good yeah. yeah they 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 are very and we always wondered how they give them that little bit of training to do a lock and and they, they were brilliant yeah. the car yeah. was fantastic yeah. wasn't yeah. they yeah, yeah. And we've got the famous Jules Fuels fuel boat. A bit bloody annoying because I've just filled up with uh, diesel at Marina and I'd much rather give these guys my custom. Yeah, so we got a message. Um, two of our friends were... Uh, wanted to meet up um, and one of the friends has it was the, her sister came over from Florida so they thought well while we was in the vicinity um, we'd meet up um, so we we arranged that didn't we yeah well you you tried to arrange it it's always yeah this we've had a couple of failed attempts with friends yeah so when when friends want to meet up and they say like where are you going to be next weekend it's it's always hard because if they want to meet you, you want to be able to get to moorings that are um, nice moorings where you can possibly sit outside, socialise a little bit and obviously have good road access for them to get there. Or a pub close by. Yeah, so that then narrows down the moorings that you're going to choose. So you've narrowed it down to one or two places that you'll yeah. get to and then you have to try and plan your route to get there and there's no guarantee once you do get, get there, the moorings are going to be available. Moorings, I know. So and it, it can be very frustrating and it, uh, in the sense of you're constantly trying to to, to do that dazed yeah, cruising yeah. to get we've, to the point where you say, we, yeah. We've sort of, we joke now when people say, where are you going to be, when will you be there? And we'll just randomly pick a month. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> we don't know. All right quick change of plan today we were planning to moor up a little bit breezy um, not that wasn't the reason we was going to moor up we were just uh, cruising all day yesterday in the rain well we just got a, um, message. a message from one of our friends sisters Nikki and Lynn or the Duchess as I call her she's over from Florida for a week and they're going to be in Milton Keynes tomorrow um, so we were only five miles from Campbell Park so we're just gonna have a little cruise up there and hopefully get more ins and meet up with those guys tomorrow well we've actually gone full circle now this point here this winding hole was the furthest point we got to back in November when we come through that bridge come down the uh, GU we'd been up at Campbell Park and we just come down here to turn round to actually go back to Campbell Park so we're now crossing the line now uh, of our, our furthest point that we got to. Yeah. We've got the cheese boat who's just had the weekend at the Cosgrove uh, market or festival and he's sold out of cheese. So I was going to buy myself some nice Stilton type cheese but he's got no, didn't have any ham either. We're in Fenny Stratford number 22 lock. Uh, there's a swing bridge that goes across the lock. There's a nice pub. And hopefully there's some moorings just there. So we might be in for a right nice pint. Okay. Well, we're at the um, Red Lion, uh, Fenny Stratford, right at the lock. And I've got myself a pint of Cocker Hoop. Now we walked in, and I always love when you walk into a pub and you see the pumps. The little independent uh, badge on the pumps. So from the Jennings Brewery, it's a golden ale, 4.6 percent. They use the steering hops. And that is what you want um, when you've seen one of those little badges. Smaller independent brewery. 
hops coming through lovely with a, a slight citrusy note. Um, although you can't smell it, that is a right nice pint. Cheers guys. Well we've got guests coming today and uh, once they get here I'll show you where we're going to go for a lunch. I forgot how long this boat is. We'll be going just over there at the uh, Red Lion pub. Yeah so met, met up yeah, they... spent a little bit of time on the boat had yeah. the uh, Duchess on the boat uh, <laughs> this it's uh, it's a, a nickname. I don't know why I call um, Lynn the Duchess. I do apologise. <laughs> she Lynn. loves it. She um, loves yeah, it. Yeah, it makes it makes uh, when you call somebody the Duchess, it makes them sound a little bit uh, pretentious. But you couldn't meet a more no, dainty, nice. Not. I think it's just her her persona. She has a yes. air of royalty she, about that's her. That's it. <laughs> yes, she does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which and, is why he yeah, calls her the Duchess. Yeah, and and as you, as you'll see, it was was like a royal visit. <laughs> Yeah, so we're at Fenny Stratford Lock, number 22, Lock and Swing Bridge. Um, spent the night over here. I was going to move on today, but as I just said, we've got um, guests. Royalty from Florida. Uh, they should be here soon. Well, one of them is royalty from Florida. Uh, the Duchess, she should be here very shortly. I'm just going to sit here and wait for her. And here they come, swanning down the tailpath, the regal way from the Duchess, and she's got her tiara on. Regal wave. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Ruby liked it too, but it's one of our pageant ones. Yeah, not too bad. And we ended up having um, a Sunday lunch at the Red Lion at Fenny Stratford, and that was, was lovely. Yeah, yeah. So I highly recommend if you're in the vicinity um, to have have food there because it was it was lush. And definitely. a right nice pint. And a right uh, yes, and a yeah. right nice pint. Well, it's quarter to ten at night. We're moored at Campbell Park. I'm just going to walk down to the. Uh, new marina just see what it looks like all lit up so here's the it's like a three-way bridge I was actually lifting this in last year check online just how much the uh, moorings are here so it's third day at Campbell Park on the uh, 14 day moorings between bridge 82 and 81b nice bit of wide towpath as you can see uh, enough to get the whirly washing line out still leaves plenty of room for cyclists or joggers people with buggies and uh, we've got enough room, there's Debbie, uh, to get the barbecue out, parasol. Yeah, so we're now gonna have a barbecue. Yeah, so if you're on the middle of the canal network and you're missing the beach, just come to Milton Keynes Shopping Centre and got it all here. Yeah, so I think that covers it for this week's little yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you, if you like the video. Press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, press the subscribe button and if you want notifications of when we upload another video press the bell button yeah 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 we got it right you <laughs> you will not believe how many takes this has just <laughs> taken to get this bit bye bye <laughs>